the dumpling thing like because when okay so i'll play the dummy that is or i'll play the person that's not on the app but who's worked apps i'll give you a couple i'll get, first scenario hopefully you just tell me that what i want to hear here i've been doing apps for a month i'm looking for a new app to add that will throw me bad offers should i sign up for dumpling nope okay perfect now i'm a gig worker for a year i understand the ups and downs the the thrill of the ride working different apps multi-apping i understand what's going on in my life i I accept the conditions of the gig economy and I am working in, in them as they are right now. One year in, I'm looking to, I'm noticing that these apps are slipping. And even if they appear to come back a little bit, they're always slipping in the big, in the big game. So I still want to remain, remain in this space. I think I could, I think I could pull some customers together. Should I come on to Dumpling? That's the person that should sign up for Dumpling. <clears throat> So when yeah. you start getting sick of the apps or you're still, you're still into this, you think it's, you, you, lo you like doing it. It's enjoyable. Love the, I mean, I, I don't even go to the flexibility as much anymore because we all know that, but you enjoy the flexibility, Wh whatever the reason is that you like the gig economy and like working in it and, and can tolerate a bad day and make it up with a good day or whatever you need to do, whatever allows you to do that. Once you're to the point where if, if you are really in this industry, like you're really working it, you do want to break off and own your own business. I mean, right. That's, because and that's, then you're and, not, it doesn't matter what app, you know, what DoorDash does or what Uber Eats does, or if they close down tomorrow or whatever, because then you have your own thing. Right. You know, and it doesn't have to be grocery shopping. Yes. That's the basis of dumpling and that's where it kind of starts but there's you know different avenues that you can go into and kind of build whatever you want to do right as an independent person you know if you decide you want a dog walk you know there's there's a way you can figure I guess out the app and where i was starting where i was starting though was just instacart and kind of maybe shipped or something maybe some doordash that does it like if you're doing grocery shopping and that's your priority thing right what, whatever you're doing a lot of it and you don't mind doing it dump and and you think you can scrape up one or two clients again word of, i'm i most of mine came from word of mouth holly had a different uh situation with hers but most of mine came from word of mouth of of an initial too so um you know once you think you i think once you think you can land a couple clients and you and you're okay doing shopping like instacart but you also know this is a ripoff that's when it's time to step in go land a client or two um, try it out. Um, we have a code. What's the code? <laughs> Savvy 2023 or rodeo. No, no, just so S A V V Y 2023. Yes. When you get to, and again, guys, it's not going to prompt you for it. You have to type it in when you're, if you're signing up, there's a point where you actually have to type that in. There's not a, a it's not going to say, did savvy send you or, Right. You're going to have to type that in. Savvy. No. And, and we don't get anything for you signing up. That's just something they gave us so they can just kind of track who came from us and just to give you something uh, so you don't have to pay the $29 fee. That's a monthly fee. You get that free for 60 days. And then the $19.99 setup fee, I believe you get for a penny, right? Or a dollar. Yeah. I think, and, and, the, and, and that's not even, that's just, again, we've mentioned this. That's just to make sure your credit card's valid. That's right, it. right. They don't care about the penny. Or yeah, the it's nothing right? about the penny. Funny fact, too. Um, it costs 1.5 cents to make a penny. Nice. Good to know. Um, <laughs> well, I will tell you something that I did learn the other day when I was doing my own order. That, uh, you know, when they hold... When somebody places an order, they just hold $20 on their card, right? Yeah. So, all right. So, Which actually, I've actually been, I was told by Mac, that actually upset a customer of his, like a lot. Why? The ghost hold. I don't know why. Like he was, he's like, why does it need to hold 20 bucks? He understood it, but Mac tried to explain it. I think he lost the, the client. Like, why isn't it just a dollar? Yeah, I don't know why it's twenty dollars, but because it's not like twenty. Look, if if we if Holly knows this too, a lot of times a dumpling shop is three, four, five hundred bucks. 
Right. So, I mean, like, what is 20 bucks as compared to well, just one? Because some of these people do care. They don't want to see a $20 charge on their card. Okay. I'm going to explain to you what it is because I have so many different bank accounts, right? I've got my main one then I've got, you know, my Uber card and my Dasher direction. So I've got money like everywhere all the time. And so when I did my shop, I used my Uber card. So I'm like, ah, you know, I got like 30, 40 bucks on there. I'll just use that. Cause I just need a few things. No big deal. And I was going to pretty much zero out my service charge at the end. And, um, anyway, so when they hold that 20 bucks, they do not apply that $20 to your order. So like if I have $40 in my Uber account and they hold 20, I can't spend more than 20 total because it's not going to use that held $20 also. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Yeah. Like a, like a double charge. Yeah. So basically that hold mm -hmm. is not available for me to use on my actual order which it'll drop right off as soon as the order is done. But I just have to make sure that I'm only using the $20 I still have available, not the whole 40. So, you I know, I also I happen to use my Uber card and only had a little bit of money on there. So I would ask actually add a little to that because I actually did. I'm glad we hit on this because I actually did have a client say they didn't care that. I mean, they just were aware of it. If, and if it didn't go away, they were going to, of course, take care of it. Right. But they noticed that after I did the shop, they okay. They went into their bank account to make sure it was proper because this is their first. Or sure. It was their first or second time. They just wanted to make.